Okay, boys and girls, let's talk about design logistics when it comes to cameras. Now, our happy little friend over at Camera Conspiracies, who is a very funny dude, and of course, everybody loves Camera Conspiracies because all he wants is the perfect camera, <laughs> is always talking about the flippy screen and why is the flippy screen missing off of so many cameras in the answer is actually rather simple. It is due to design restrictions. If you'll notice over here on the left, we actually have all these ports. All these cameras, at least any decent camera, has several ports on the left side of the camera. Yeah? Okay, so the issue is, I don't know if you could see it or not. Of course you can. Let me actually zoom in here. You see this little flexi cable, which is what it is. It's attached to the bottom. I dare not touch it unless I'm just touching it with the tip of my glasses. It's attached to the bottom of the main board, which is basically like the motherboard of a computer. This little flexi cable on the inside, all these flexi cables, which are not bent at all. They're just part of the assembly that actually feeds the EVF and feeds power and feeds everything else. They're uncoated. This one's actually has a type of rubberized coating, but nevertheless, it's paper thin and it's extremely fragile. This articulating screen is actually pushing it because the cable actually goes in to the back plate assembly here, and then it folds over at 90 degrees, and then it feeds the LCD of the X-T3. The issue is, on the flippy screen, is that if you're going to actually have a flippy screen for doing selfies and videos, it actually comes out to the left. What happens is, is that the cable is in the same place as the ports that are also soldered on to the main board or the motherboard of the camera, if you will. And this creates a design problem. Also, too, if you want to make the camera have a flippy screen, it has to be thicker because then you actually need to attach the uh, LCD feed flexi cable to the main board behind these ports. But if you attach it underneath here, you actually can't have a flippy screen that goes off to the left. Sony was able to accomplish this by actually having it attached right here, but that creates a problem because I don't know if you know this or not, but if you bend a piece of paper so many times, what will happen is it will it'll start to fall apart, right? Well, this is feeding not only power, but also information, a lot of information, to the rear LCD display. And this is the same issue of all camera manufacturers, is that you have this paper-thin, literally, paper-thin flexi cable that's feeding the LCD. And if you want to keep the camera really, really thin, like this, and have an articulating screen that comes out to the left for doing selfies and videos, it would necessitate the camera to be thicker. And also, too, it creates a design problem because if they actually put this uh, flexi cable, um, well, actually, uh, Canon uses on one of their selfie screens a round bundled flexi cable. And you'll notice that the actual articulating armature that feeds that LCD is actually thick. So instead of using a flexi cable, they use a bundle of uh, wires that feed power and information to the LCD but that causes the camera to be bulky. To get a camera flat like this, and Sony does the same thing, and so does Nikon, this nice little flat display that snugs up against the camera so that the entire profile of the LCD is actually quite small, creates a design problem, because the only way you can make this LCD super flat like this is if you use this little paper-thin, fragile flexi cable that feeds from the main board of the camera to a power and information to the LCD. So, selfie screens that articulate fully out to the left or fully over the top. Over the top is actually the worst. Sony was able to accomplish it, but that's the problem. That's the pro Of course, the issue with the Sony, too, is if you want to have like a light up on top or a speed light and you bring the selfie screen over top, is the new a Sony A6400, there's a couple of YouTubers were actually showing that they had a speed light or a uh, radio control trigger or an LED light on top. Of course, you bring the the uh, flippy screen over the top, then it's uh, you can't see anything because it's being blocked by... Uh, the uh, speed light or whatever attachment you actually have in the hot shoe. No selfie screen can go off to the right because then the cable would extend too far because this is the grip area over here. And over here, this creates another issue. If you want to keep it flat, you can't have all these damn ports over here because then 
The flexi cable, or even a bundled cable like Canon uses, has to attach to the main board behind these ports, which are soldered onto the main board. So the reason why you don't see selfie screens on uh, a bunch of these uh, nice super flat cameras, and this is not a Sony issue or a Fujifilm issue or a Nikon issue, it's, it's simply a design issue, is that, you know, this little flexi cable here is really fragile. There's only so many ways that you could twist it and bend it. And even I don't actually like bringing the selfie screen out to the side like this. Um, I've uh, taken apart hundreds of cameras recently with flexi cables like this, and this is only a uh, rubberized coating on uh, the flexi cable. You can see this nice sharp bend right here. If I zoom in, you see this little sharp bend right there? Every time I open and close it, yeah, 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 that's right. Now give it a little slack so you're not really bending it when you close it, but you're still bending it. Yeah, that's the reason why I really don't flip the uh, LCD out like that. So as so far as our buddy and other people have speculated on this, I'm not actually making this video for Captain Camera Conspiracies who only wants the perfect camera with a flip out selfie screen. This is the issue. It's a design issue. Because if you want this camera flatter than Kira Knightley, <laughs> yeah, you have to use this flexi cable. And if you use a flexi cable, then you're, you got really nasty design constraints. If you use the bundled circular cable that Canon uses for the side flip out screen, then that necessitates the LCD A to be thicker but also, too, the camera thickness to be more, or the LCD actually has to protrude more from the back of the camera, which then people would complain about. So next time you complain about a camera not having a selfie screen, just remember that there's some extremely intelligent folks over there in Japan that are like, we can't do that. <laughs> it's, you know, unless you like want a Wi-Fi beam, maybe in the future there'll be like watch batteries in the LCD. And uh, what it will do is it will Wi-Fi beam the infra... Well, that, even that would still be possible because the LCD actually sucks enough power that watch batteries couldn't power that. But you could have power cables only to the LCD, and then the signal could be Wi-Fi beamed from here to here, but that would be also... That would be ridiculous. It would make the camera really expensive, and it would create constraints of more parts and more issues and signal failure, and then people would complain. So there you have it. This is the reason why so many expensive professional end cameras don't have the side flip out selfie screen. Yeah, you can accomplish it, but it creates other issues in making the camera thicker. I hope I explained that fully. Thank you so much. Goodbye.